G'day guys, so in this video today we're going to try something a little bit different. We're actually going to be making some artificial termite mounds out of expanding foam, um, some grout and concrete and things, um, and uh, some old flower pots. So stick around, I hope you enjoy this video. So I actually got this idea off a guy I used to work with um, for a period of time, Paul Kirby. Uh, he made some awesome termite mounds for his black-headed python. Uh, if I think of it and if I can find the photo, I'll uh, insert it in here somewhere. Uh, so anyway, the plan for today is just coating these old flower pots that have been sitting in the garden for ages with some expanding foam and see if we can shape them up a bit. And then from there we'll either grout or concrete them. I haven't exactly decided yet. I'll have to go through my messages to see what Paul did. Um, and I might follow his instructions from there. But the reason I'm doing it with the flower pots is because I'm going to be using these for smaller goannas. And I actually want them to be able to hide inside of them, nest inside of them if they need to. Um, just give them another option as a a hide in their enclosures. Cool, let's get started. Alright, so for a little while now I've had these massive cans of expanding foam just sitting around. I was planning to use them on another project. Um, I think it was on Loki's enclosure I was going to use these as a fake wall background. Um, however, I think it's just too big of a monitor and he just would have destroyed it in the matter of how I coated it, to be honest. Um, so anyway, we get started and we'll coat a few of these up and see what happens. All we can do is try. It's something to do on a nice hot, hot day in the city. Absolutely sweltering here today, but uh, we're getting a few layers done on these termite mounds. I've got one more can here that I can use. Hoping it's going to be enough. I've let it expand a little bit and kind of get a bit of size to it, just so I can uh, work it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, after this, hopefully I'll at least get the three bigger ones done out of these three cans that I've got. If not, then I might need to go for a quick road trip up to Bunnings. And, uh, I might let them dry overnight and get really nice and solid and then tomorrow we'll look at uh, putting some grout or concrete or... Not 100% not sure what I'm going to do as of yet to be honest. I might even... I might even waterproof them just because everyone knows I'm a big fan of the pond sewer from Bunnings. And then while it's like thick on the coat of waterproofer I might even chuck cement on it. But anyway, still undecided as of yet. Um, yeah, so far so good. Next can's coming. All right, so they're pretty set in now. I think the hot day helped it kind of cure pretty quick. This is basically what we're left with. Take a bit of paper off and I'll clean a bit more of that up. Um, so what I'm going to do is bust a hole in some side of these. So this one I already had a crack in it, so I'll probably just use that and cut it out with a Stanley knife. And I've just been up to Bunnings and got some more pond sealer. So I think the plan what I'm going to do is, um, as I'm painting the pond sealer on there, I'm actually going to throw cement onto it to 
kind of uh, make a nice tough exterior to this so the goannas can't really get their claws in there too much. These are only going to be going in with like smaller things, so like your freckled monitors and maybe blackheads or something like that, so it's not going to be too, too crazy. Might shake these a little bit further. Depends on how lazy I want to be. Um, but yeah, we'll go from there. I'll do another little, little time lapse, I'd say. All right, so there's one done. This guy's been covering the pond sealer and some cement. So I've just been painting on a thick layer of this and then sprinkling this over there. This is my little jar. And I'll leave that to dry before I knock all that, that stuff off. And uh, I'll get started and I'll at least get the other one done. So after I put the uh, cement on the pond sailor there, I'm actually covering the termite mount in terracotta paint right now. So it's the same sort of paint that you'd actually use for terracotta pots. Um, from there, I'm actually going to go through and actually just chuck some red reptile sand just from the pet shop straight over the top of it, just to give it some real good texture. Sorry it took me so long to get this video out guys, I know there's quite a few people that are actually interested in uh, how I made these termite mounds, um, but hopefully you enjoyed the video, I know the goannas are still loving these mounds to date, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video and share it around if you can, thanks guys.